Hey guys, Matt here. In this video, we are sending in another 25 book CGC pre-screen. So stay tuned, let's go through it. All right, so um, I took like a month off from sending in um, to CGC. Um, I was doing a lot of cards and sending into PSA, and I'm still actually doing that. But uh, I wanted to go through some books. This is going to be a 25 book, uh, 9.8 pre-screen. So let's go, and I'll show you and tell you a little bit about what we're sending in and why. So first up, we've got Spider Gwen number one. This is the Scotty Young uh, one. This is her first solo series. You know, um, a nice book. I already have this in a 9.8. There is a number of variants. Um, this one has a fair market value right now in a 9.8 for about $100, give or take. So I did have an extra copy, and I figured I will send this in, see if it hits, and then can decide what I'm going to do with it. Next one up, Black Panther number three. This book is super hot lately. This is the first appearance of Tosin. Um, this is the Joe Jusco, kind of like the uh, Marvel Masterpiece um, uh, variant cover. Uh, last sale of this book in a 9.8 was about $250. So definitely well worth sending it in. And then what I have here is the next one is cover A to that book. So, you know, we have the variant cover A. I don't have the one in 25, which is going for an obscene amount of money right now. But this one also is selling for about $250 in a 9.8 for a cover A, which is incredible. So I'm going to send them both in. Next one up, Dark Avengers. This is number one. This is the Dark Reign. Um, so uh, if you've watched the channel, I have tried to send this in a couple times. I have one currently pending. I just can't seem to hit this. My wife, I actually had comics that she bought. We sent it in for her, and she hit a 9.8 on her first shot. I can't seem to do it. But I still think this is a good play. I'm still trying. Um, I've had this book pressed. Uh, you know, grading is subjective. I've said it a hundred times. I send in books, they get rejected. I send the same book back, comes back as a 90. Same thing for cards. I just had that with a Wolverine card for Marvel Masterpiece. So um, don't get discouraged if you don't hit. Try, try again. So this one, why I think it's such a good play right now is because unfortunately we have recently lost William Hurt who was General Ross from you know uh, the MCU. So it makes more sense to me now that they may gear towards a Dark Avengers team versus a Thunderbolts team. Not that that's not a good play, but this is my kind of my reasoning right now. And so this is the um, kind of a team where Valentina, Contessa, Allegra, Defunct, whatever her name is, can put together. And I think this team can still work. So I'm still, um, still thinking that this uh, Dark Avengers has legs to it. Also, just so I mentioned, um, that book recently sold in a 9.8 uh, this month for about $158, which is, I think, a really good buy, whoever got that. All right, all new Ghost Rider, Robbie Reyes, first appearance. Um, there's been all kinds of talks as to Ghost Rider coming in, you know, with the Midnight Suns potentially around the corner. I think this is a great play. I don't know... Um, which Ghost Rider we're going to be dealing with, Robbie Reyes, um, just the old ones or not, you know, but uh, Danny Catch. But this book right now is going for about $600 in a 9.8. Um, so this one got rejected. I did have it pressed, and we are going to resubmit and see how we do. High Republic, number one, this is the Stephanie Hans variant. And um, High Republic is rumored now... Um, to be in the works. There are multiple first appearances in this book. Um, I have a number of different copies from cover A to some of the store exclusives. This one is just a beautiful uh, Hans variant. This book right now is going for about 130 in a 9.8. I saw recent sales. So we're going to submit this and see how we do. This one, ASM 607, is just a beautiful cover art. J. Scott Campbell play. 
Um, some of his books have been, you know, more controversial in the past year or so um, because of how he pictures or how he draws uh, women on it. Um, but this book has definitely had some heat associated with it. Um, nothing more than a cover play. There's nothing I think that's in the guts that are going to really make or break it. But this is a beautiful cover. Um, and what you have is a book currently selling for about three hundred uh, and thirty dollars in a nine eight. So makes sense to send it in. Well, this book needs probably no introduction. This is Edge of Spider Verse number two. This is a first print. I don't know if I'm going to be able to squeak this one in, but I wanted to take a shot on it. So um, this is the first appearance of Spider Gwen. Um, there are multiple um, different covers and variations of this book. This is just cover A, good old fashioned one. Um, I picked this one up raw uh, recently. It has a very, very slight color rub to it. Um, if you can kind of see it right in there. Um, but I like the copy. I just want to take a shot and send it in with this 9-8 screen and see what happens. So, you know, they may tell me this book is too expensive for the screen. So be it. If they want to charge me extra. I don't mind. But we're going to take a shot on a pre-screen just to see how it does. And that book in a 9-8 is hitting about just around uh, 2000 maybe a little shy, just depending on who buys it. Next one up, Beavis and Budhead, number one, their first appearance in comics. This one picked up steam for a little bit, dropped back down. Last sale I saw in a 9-8 was $114. I think it's an affordable book. If you're my age in your 40s, you know, Beavis and Budhead kind of was a staple with MTV. So I'm going to take a shot on this. The book raw was about 15 to 20 bucks, I think, uh, in that range. Um, definitely worth it, in my opinion. So we're going to see. Another cover art one. So this is America, number five. Um, my bag actually had a sticker on it. Um, I just reused the bag. So that is not part of the comic. But basically, you've got Lucky the Pizza Dog, Kate Bishop, and America Chavez in this nice cover one. Um, you know, nine eights in this book right now are about 220 to 25 range. So, um, it got rejected before I did have it pressed and I want to just try again and see how we do. So that one is going in next one, Avengers 227. This is the second appearance basically of Monica Rambeau as Captain Marvel. This book in a nine eight is hitting somewhere around 152 it really kind of has has not had the you know the increase that the first appearance has as you would probably imagine but still a nice one this is a newsstand however um during the year when this came out and i believe it was 1982 or 83 um direct was actually rare so i know there's always that debate but um i did get a newsstand copy i think this is a nice copy um i had it pressed and cleaned so we will submit and see how we do. All right, some newer stuff. Deadpool, Black, White, and Blood. And this one is the 1 in 25. This one is the first appearance of Sakura Spider. Um, uh, and I don't really, I'm, I'm not going to pretend that I'm really familiar with that character or anything like that. This book, when I had picked this up, basically at ratio, um, I didn't know. I just liked the cover. I didn't know how popular this book was going to be or that appearance. And, you know, right now this book is selling raw for about a hundred and five dollars. Um, I haven't seen any nine, eight sales because it is a brand new book, but I mean, raw at one Oh five to me, it becomes a no brainer to send it in and see how we do. Next one, moon Knight one eighty eight. This is the McCone variant. This is a 1 in 10. I had already submitted this book. I submitted two copies of this book. And um, I know that the series is coming out next week. Um, there's probably, you know, the hope that the Sun King um, was going to be a character that Ethan Hawke was going to play may have been, um, you know, uh, that spec has kind of gone a little bit by the wayside. It doesn't look like that may pan out. However, you know, I think it's still a good play. I don't know what they may do later on in the future. I know there was uh, discussions about Sun King. So this is a 1 in 10 variant. Um, it got rejected and they gave me notes saying that the staple was a little recessed. Um, 
you know, I, I, I don't know if that's going to be enough, in my opinion, to, to knock this thing down. There's nothing wrong with the book other than, than what they're saying is the staple is a little recessed. So we're going to send it in again and see. I'm willing to bet this one comes back as a 9-8. But let's see. All right, next one up, Iron Fist number one. This is the one in 25. I actually ended up getting the one in 50, the one in 25, and some cover A's. The one in 50, unfortunately, um, didn't come you know, in a 9.8. The, the condition is probably somewhere more in a 9.2. Um, so, you know, for purposes of uh, this particular 9.8 pre-screen, it's not going to fly. So we are submitting um, the 1 in 25 variant. This one is the first appearance of is it Lin, Lin Lei. Uh, it was Swordmaster who now becomes Iron Fist. You know, with now the Dare, excuse me, the Netflix characters, Daredevil, Punisher, in essence, the Defenders coming back over to Disney and Disney Plus, you know, what they're going to do with Iron Fist is yet, you know, yet to be seen. But I think that with this, if they want to take a new, fresh approach, they can use him and kind of start bringing in that new Agents of Atlas kind of thing as well. So I do think this is a good one to get. Um, cover A, just to give you an idea, uh, in a 9 8 has sold for about 130 uh, so dollars. Um, I haven't seen a sale on a 1 in 25 yet. But if cover A is selling for 130, I'm guessing this is probably going to be closer to about 200. So we're going to submit it and see. All right, next one up, America number five, another cover plate. This is just a gorgeous, gorgeous cover. This um, this cover was selling pretty good um, given the news of Market Chavez. Uh, last sale on this one that I saw this month was approximately $180. Um, give or take. So I definitely think it's worth it. This is one that if I hit a 9.8, I will probably put up for sale. Um, I do have her first appearance. So this is her first solo series ones um, with the other cover play with the uh, Kate Bishop one on it. So, um, you know, this will hopefully hit and go up for sale. Static season one. This is the one per store variant. I had submitted this. It got rejected. Um, it had a minor I'll, I'll call it like a dent, almost like a finger um, finger bend type thing um, that was pressed out. So we're going to resubmit this. Sales on this book are about $130 that I saw last month. So we're going to try again and see. All right, from Boom, Something is Killing the Children. Everybody knows that uh, number 21 is coming out uh, recently now with the new story arc. This is number nine. This is the first cameo of Jessica Slaughter. Um, and so, you know, this one was selling in cover A for about 100 to 120. I did see some, some a few sales uh, ranging and all. These uh, books, kind of before I would say 10, uh, were, were, were low print. They just weren't, uh, it wasn't as popular yet. The series hadn't picked up yet. So I try and get any of these uh, under 10 ones when I can. And submit them. I have number one. I have number. Um, I think it's number six. And now I'm just going to see if we can hit number nine after a good pressing because this was pre previously sent in and rejected. All right. Next, uh, in essence, next two up because you'll see it here are the Death of Doctor Strange Bloodstone. This is the first appearance of Lyra Bloodstone, Elsa's sister. Um, you know. I think Elsa's coming in. I know a lot of other uh, comic collectors think that uh, she's coming in as well. So, you know, from a play, you know, this is a fairly cheap book um, in cover A, cover, you know, cover B. This is the Maria Wolf cover um, to, to basically kind of secure a potential uh, first appearance. What they're going to do with her if they bring her in, I don't know. Um, they may bring in her father as well, but... You know, anything surrounding the Bloodstone family, I think, is going to have some legs, given that her uh, father was, you know, in essence, a hunter, monster hunter, and, and so she follows, and it may make sense that her sister does as well. There is also a design variant cover on this one, um, which I already have at CGC, so this is just plain old cover A and cover B. Um, just as far as this one, cover A sold this month in a 9.8 for $77.00. So super affordable, in my opinion. Um, another one sold for $150. So, you know, 
people are getting deals on them. If you can find a good deal, I think it's worth it. Um, it's definitely going to be a long-term hold, but you know, it is something worth doing. So two books for Lyra Bloodstone. This is another really new one. This is uh, ASM 88. This is the first appearance of Queen Goblin. Now, this book being new had really heated up. Um, this is cover A. Cover A um, just sold in a 9.8 already. People got that back real quick. I've seen sales between $130 and $150 for cover A. There are some really nice store exclusives. There are some uh, other variants of it. There's a design as well, but just plain old cover A selling for $130 to $150 for basically a $4, $5 pickup. No brainer to me. So that's getting submitted. X Force 11, first appearance of Domino, a goodie, a classic, not an expensive book. Um, I had submitted this. I was pretty pissed because it didn't come back in a 9.8. I did have it uh, pressed. It looks really good. Um, a a 9.8 is only about $100 to $120, something like that. Um, most people don't think that Domino may reappear in, in, in the new um, uh, rendition of the Deadpools coming out. I still think it's just a really nice uh, Liefeld cover. Um, I'm going to submit it again and see. I really want one in a 9.8. If I don't hit it, I'm just going to buy the book in a 9.8 but I'd like to give it another shot before I do. All right, turning the tables. Now we go back to that Loki series, Timeless number one. So this is the first cover appearance of Miss Minutes um, from the Loki series. This is the Umberto Ramos cover. This is this cover just went crazy for such a small character um, to appear on the cover. So there is a second print, one in 50, that's black and white of this. This book... I had picked up for cover price. This book sold a couple days ago in a 9.8 for $215. I mean, I have seen ones range from $200 to almost $230 on this book. Uh, if you can still find this for cover price, that would be the only time I would probably spend that kind of money for this. Venom number five. This is a 1 in 25. This is... Um, multiple this is the first full appearance i believe of bedlam there's also a team appearance of um i think it's the kings in black uh but really nice cover this one is a polo i'm gonna butcher his last name uh, sicaria sicaria one i really like it it's just a very cool looking cover of venom you know um especially the way that they have it kind of with the the building kind of behind, you know, the venom behind the building type thing. I just think it's a really nice cover and a one in 25. This one is selling for, uh, I haven't seen any graded ones, but this one is selling for about, I think, uh, 30 to $35. We're also a little over ratio. You may still be able to get it for ratio. If so, may not be a bad pickup. All right, down to the last two. Wolverine 131. So why you may ask, what I send in this book, what is the big deal with this book? So this book is the recalled version. This has a racial slur in there where Wolverine's uh, saying something uh, to about Sabretooth. It is a racial slur and it was recalled because of that. So um, I've been looking to get this. This is just a kind of a unique hunt book for me, fun one. How do you know if it's the recalled version versus the non-recalled version? In the barcode, right under where it says direct edition, if it has ends in number one, that means it has the racial slur. Um, anything other than number one, and I can't remember if it's two or zero or something else, um, just means it's the regular version. Not an expensive book. Not even the recalled one is very expensive, maybe 15 to 20 bucks. Um, but still a very cool one. I want to send it in and just see... Um, uh, CGC has noted it in their label. If it is the recalled version, I'm going to put that in the description. Hopefully this one will hit and we'll see what happens. And last but not least, a very, very cool one. And I mean that literally the cover is cool because it's metal. So this is We Live number one. This is a uh, Trinity uh, Comics um, uh, store exclusive. There's limited to 200. This one actually was supposed to be red. It was a red metal cover. Um, apparently something happened at the printer and red went to silver. Still a gorgeous, gorgeous looking cover. 
I have never had a metal cover. Um, so I know this story. I have not read it. I know this story is very popular and a lot of people think that this could be an option story. Um, you know, there were other exclusives and a number of variants for this particular book and multiple printings. I have some fourth printings, I believe. And there may even be more than that. But this one limited to 200. Nice, nice metal cover. I've never submitted one. I just want to see what happens with it. I would hope it's going to be a 9.8. It'd be really nice to get a 9.9, but at least a 9.8 on this one. So that's the 25 books, guys. I uh, just kind of wanted to go through it uh, to let you guys see. I am doing comics. I'm hopefully going to have a pre-screen back one of them because I've got like four at CGC soon. I've got some cards out at, um, at PSA and I'm going to send out some more this week. So stay tuned and we'll go through them all together. Thanks again for watching. Do all the YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe down below, ring that bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.